Would you take 25 for your jacket? Um. Funny little golf guy, isn't it? Hi, how are you? He's more like that. He's shy, but yeah. Hi, but come on, buddy. Come here. Yeah, I know. For a, then you'll probably become your best friend. Yeah. How long do you say? Hi. <laughs> how much is your little golf guy? How um, oh, no, I said I mean, I'm pretty sure on that little guy yet. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you give me for? Oh, I like your purse. I think. Let me look around a little bit and I'll think about it. I'm not even sure where I'd put it, and that's the thing. Oh, that is cool. Half yard of ale? Yeah, half with yard. A stand. With, with a stand. With a stand. Oh, no. And I think there's more stuff in here. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Is it, is it $5? I think she put $5. Five bucks? She, 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 she was trying to give it to me, and I was like, I don't want it. Hold <laughs> well, up, come on. Knuckles? That's crazy. You know what? Yeah, I'll take it for five bucks. Well, he said yes. <laughs> On your golf guy. Oh, sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Sure. I got this DVD under there. It looks like it was priced separately, but then the rest of them were in that yep, dollar box. Yep, you're right. Um, two, three, four, five. I got eight of these. Eight and eight. So there you are. So Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck to you. Morning. Gift bags, four for a dollar. Honestly, I think we're good on gift bags. Are we? Good morning. Good morning. Okay. My friend has tons of girls' clothes. Okay. <clears throat> property to go to this weekend. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's like perfect. It's just gonna run and get some. How much are they? Four for a dollar. Make more. <laughs> How much are your? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Whatever you think is fair. Okay. Um, so, sorry, it's a towel rack. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not sure you Um, uh, a dollar a piece. Okay. Would you do, uh, ten for these three? Sure. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. You didn't miss a whole lot down that street. No. A lot of, like, home decor and things. Yeah, I just, I went to the first, I took a left first. Oh, yeah. There. Were they open? Yeah. They weren't open when we went by there. I got a, it's like a Mitsubishi projector, but it was Morning. free. Morning. Morning. You got a free projector? Yeah. That's cool. Hi. What's up, Darcy? Good morning. Looking for anything special? We look for everything. Something we can't live without. True. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get your saw here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have a good day. Mm -hmm, you too. Dad, I thought we already had one. We can always use another one. This one's green. We don't have a green one. How much are these? Uh, a dollar and three dollars. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Thank
Like. Yeah, what are you asking okay. for all this? So, um, these shoes, since they're brand new, I was going to do 20. Okay. The Titleist Pro V1s are 10. Okay. And then were these all three in the bag? In that bag, We were yeah. going to do $5 a club. Okay. I think I'll pass on these. Okay. Uh, would you just do 20 bucks yeah, for the fine. four? Yeah. Thank you so yep. much. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Would you take 25 for your jacket? Um, oh, that's, yeah. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thanks. What's up guys? It is Saturday morning. Yesterday I went to I think about 15 or 20 garage sales with my wife and daughter. Weather was amazing. We hit some really good sales and I found some awesome stuff. Got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. Got some DVDs at one sale. They were a dollar each. Let's see. We got Mission Magic complete series. I didn't know what this was, but it was new in the plastic. So I picked it up. Recent sale of this went for like $30 free shipping. I got Monty Python. Flying Circus, um, two different seasons. I thought these would have been worth more. I didn't look them up at the time. They're only going for like $5 a set, but these guys are hilarious. So if nothing else, I'll just keep those for my personal collection. We got some just to keep for the family. How the Grinch stole Christmas, uh, new in the plastic. Same with the Flash, never opened. Despicable Me 3 and the Christmas Vacation, one of my all-time favorites. I got this box set. This was six dollars. Burt Sugarman's Midnight Special. I have sold this same set over the years. It's been a while, but I remember getting pretty good money for it, so I went ahead and picked it up. This was a show in the 70s and 80s. Uh, it had comedians, musicians, some big names on here too. Casey and the Sunshine Band, Elton John, Peter Frampton, Doobie Brothers, Aerosmith. And when I got this the first time, like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, I watched almost the whole thing through. I thought it was really good. I don't know if any of you guys remember this show. I'm I'm too young to remember it. Uh, I was born in 85, but I just like watching this old stuff. I looked up comps on this one. I didn't find the same one with this box. It seems like there's more than just, you know, what these discs are. There's nine of them in here, but I think there's more than that. I saw, I think there was like a dozen or so. It went for like 80 or 90 bucks. And then some of them weren't selling great, so I really don't know. I'm going to probably list these nine for about 50 bucks and see what happens. Got this tea kettle for $3. This is Le Creuset, or Le Creuset, however you pronounce it. There's the name right there on the bottom. This is one and a half liters. Nice green color to it. I saw the same one sell for $75 plus shipping. I think that's probably a little bit on the high side. I might get 40 to 60 bucks for it, something like that. And as I'm looking this over a little bit closer, you can see there's a little bit of damage right there on the handle, which is unfortunate. But for three bucks, really hard to pass up. The enamel's got a little bit of damage there, but... I still think there's some money to be made. That's a really good name to keep an eye out for, guys. At one sale, I got some golf balls and golf clubs. This is a dozen Pro V1X. I got these and the three clubs for $20. Um, these Pro V1s go for about $50 to $60. And we've got two, uh, two Nike SQ Mach Speed Hybrids. These are selling for around $40 each. And we've got a Heavy Putter. The brand is actually called Heavy Putter, and when you pick it up, it's much heavier than a normal putter. Uh, this model is going right around 50 bucks. Got some video game stuff at one sale. I got two uh, PS4, I think they're for PS4, motion controllers. That you can maybe use them with PS3 as well, I'm not sure. And I got Super Mario Brothers Wii. I paid 10 bucks for those three. These are going right around 15 to 20 bucks, and then the uh, game is selling right around 20 bucks as well. Got Chippendale Rescue Rangers, uh, Viewmaster 3D. You guys remember these? I played with these as a kid. You put them in this little, like, Viewmaster thing, and it's like a little slideshow. Paid a dollar for them. I doubt that they're worth much. I didn't even look them up. I just thought they were really cool. Got a bunch of hats at one sale. I bought five of them for $2 each. Here is 9090 Cincinnati Reds World Champs. They were in first place um, from start to finish, so we always call them wire to wire. We've got a uh, Cleveland Indians 95 champions. 
got a little bit of like sweat stain going on there that might clean out. This really cool looking Browns hats, Florida Gators, and another vintage Florida Gators. At that same sale, I got a signed photo from Pete Rose and Pete Rose Jr. I was looking this over pretty closely because I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a stamped autograph, or not a stamped autograph, a um, maybe like a reprint, you know what I mean? Like it kind of gave me um, some reprint vibes there for a minute. I can see, you know, the, the pen mark on there, but I'm probably going to take it out of the frame and give it a really good look over to see if that auto is actually... Um, authentic or if they just took a signed photo and reprinted it which i've seen people do either way it was only three dollars so not much risk there um that'll just probably stay in my personal collection i got this guy right here it wasn't price and i was asking how much they wanted for him they're like yeah hey, make us an offer and i wasn't really sure that i wanted him to be honest because he's really big i'm not going to ship him i'll just have to sell him local i was looking around and she's like how about five bucks i'm like you know what sure i'll take you for five bucks i'll put him in my shop sale maybe try to get 20 bucks for him I got this killer Beatles piece. Uh, this was probably like a home goods type store or something like that. It's got all the album artwork and it was only $20. Just thought this would look really cool hanging on the wall. I'm keeping that. Got this old saw. They were only asking two bucks, so I gladly paid that. Just has an awesome look to it and that'll go in my shop sale as well. Probably get 15, 20 bucks. Last but certainly not least is this chicago bulls starter jacket they had 35 dollars on it i paid 25 i saw the same one selling around like 90 dollars free shipping that was like a double xl though i think mine is a medium so i don't think it'll bring as much money i'm hoping for like 60 dollars plus shipping unfortunately it's i mean summer's really close so not a great time of year to be trying to sell this uh, big starter jacket but i do think it'll sell eventually i'm about to go hit some more garage sales with my dad this morning so stay tuned for that video in a few days that is it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time